you. So here we are at the main event, match number two, between Cody Rhodes and Brock Lesnar for your Night of Champions. And man, I think we have a little foreshadowing. Uh, not watching uh, SmackDown here to see what happened and what happens because this is put out before them. But a little foreshadowing that we see. Uh, we see the broken arm of Cody Rhodes. We see uh, we see the conversation between Triple H and. Uh, you know, we see a conversation between Triple H and Cody Rhodes at the end of Raw. And Triple H, it's almost like like an uncle speaking with, with uh, you know, Uncle Triple H. Like, you know, kind of, I've been through the ringers. I've been through it. Uh, you, uh, it's not as easy as you think type of a speech, right? I get that in impression um you get that impression and where is this going uh are we seeing a kind of a wh where does that lead us i think that might be foreshadowing something right it could be foreshadowing tonight where you know triple h said it's not going to be easy it could be shadowing uh foreshadowing a night for Night of Champions, where Brock Lesnar absolutely destroys, dominates, goes after the arm of Cody Rhodes, beats him up, kind of demolishes him within a, a, a he's within a, a, an inch of his livelihood. He's beat up that bad, bloody, pulped. Cody Rhodes has no offense in there. It's foreshadowing by Triple H. Told you, Cody. In the following weeks later, we could also see Triple H, you know, after the following, uh, you know, on Monday night, saying, you know what? It's not going to be easy for you. Now, you know, um,. You think Brock Lesnar was hard. I got more obstacles for you, Cody. You worry about Brock Lesnar, and then you worry about what I have to bring uh, to the table for you. That disrespect you showed me when I was trying to give you good advice, well, who says you deserve a title shot? It's not that easy, Cody. You might have to go through a little bit more than what you thought. You think it's just Brock Lesnar? Hmm, maybe not. That's what I see happening. See, look, at, look at this curve. I see. That's what I see happening. That's so easy. Cody I'm Rhodes easy. being dominated, so destroyed. Drive, it's it's now one in one. Who said? And when this happens, when Brock Lesnar wins at Night of Champions, who said? Who said that Cody Rhodes has to be undefeated to be a champion? No, 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 no. Don't get all tied up. Don't get all worked up. Cody Rhodes is not being buried by losing in storyline, an inch within your life. By losing. You're showing vulnerability. You're the common man, right? He's just like you. He wants us to believe in Cody Rhodes. But how is he really? I mean, you know, he's has those fancy, fancy suits. Have you ever felt sympathy for Cody? Sympathy, I think, is very important. I think sympathy gets you emotionally invested into a character, makes you always feel for the character. And if there is no sympathy, I don't think, you know, you know people are quick to toss that character aside. I think we only felt sympathy once for Cody Rhodes, maybe if even when he took off that jacket and his, you seen his pick, peck being completely torn as he was about ready to fight Seth Rollins. Probably that's the only time he felt sympathy for him. That's not enough. 
Sympathy is very key. Don't worry if Brock, uh, if Brock Lesnar destroys Cody. It's okay. Heck, if I remember correctly, Dusty had casts. Might have even had a full, full cast on him when he was fighting. Sympathy. Sympathy. WWE is taking the, the scenic route here with Cody Rhodes, as they did with many wrestlers. Your winner, Brock Lesnar. Via probably almost uh, as a type of a um, kind of uh, uh, match called off type of a deal. Maybe even a clean pin after destroying Cody Rhodes. You know what? I'm going to go with a clean pin, clean pin after destroying Cody Rhodes with the shoulder injury.